Ngayong gabi, maglalaban na ang 24 na pinakamahusay na players sa Balat ng Pilipinas sa 1996 PBA All-Star Game. Maghaharap muli ang bihasang veteran team at ang bagitong rookie, sophomores and juniors sa isang larong magtatanghal ng galing at katuwaan. Tatlong beses nang nagharap ang veterans at RSJ sa loob ng huling pitong taon at ang lahat ng ito'y pinanalo ng mga veterano. Isang taon nang nakalilipas mula nung sila'y huling naglaman at sak na may tinatanim na paghiganti ang rookies, sophomores at juniors. Makakaisa nga ba ngayon ang RSJ? O di kaya itutuloy ng mga veterano ang kanilang pagdudomina sa mga baguhang ito? Malalaman natin ngayong gabi sa 1996 PBA All-Star Game! Sophomores and Juniors Team! He's a versatile rookie with a deft shooting touch that extends way beyond the three-point arc. At guard from Formula Shell, double zero, Romel Santos. Our next player is a true workhorse. He makes his living in the paint with his relentless rebounding. Playing forward from Pure Foods, TJ Hot Dogs, number five, Edmund Reyes. He's one of the league's newest high-flying acrobats. He was the number two pick overall during last January's draft at guard forward, also from the Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs, number nine, John Rodney Santos. Making his third All-Star appearance, this tireless worker set the season high for rebounds with 21 boards earlier this season. At forward from Pure Foods, TJ Hot Dogs, number seven, Ray Evangelista. The 1995 Rookie of the Year awardee. He has come into his own this season as a legitimate PBA star. Playing in his second All-Star game at forward from Alaska Melt, number 22, Jeffrey Cariasso. Making his all-star debut, he is a solid force in the paint who makes his present felt on the defensive end of the court at center. Also from Alaska Milk, number 32, Edward Wigno. The tallest local player ever to suit up in the PBA. He has easily established himself as a tower of strength on both ends of the floor. Playing center from Hinebra San Miguel, Edward Joseph File, number 23. Named to the RSJ lineup but unable to play because of injuries are Dennis Cespino of Santa Lucia, Realty number 16. And Wilmer Hall of Hinebra San Miguel, number 18. And now the starting five for the rookie sophomores junior C. At Ford, he is power personified as his monitor, the Tank Will Attest, performing in his third All-Star game from Hinebra San Miguel, number six, Nani Luxin. At the other forward's 
spot. He is one of the league's best athletes and one of the more exciting aerial artists in his second All-Star game, wearing number 19 from Sunkiss Orange Bottlers, Kenneth Durandes. At guard, this lightning quick rookie is fast establishing himself as one of the top playmakers in the game today. Wearing number one, debuting from the He Never San Miguel team, Valdivir. Also making his all star debut, he is one of the league's top long range gunners. Taking the other guard spot, wearing number 12, also from the Nebra San Miguel, Vince Pizar! At center, he was the number one overall pick of the last draft, a franchise player who has provided impact on both ends of the floor, number 13, from Ginebra San Miguel, Marlo Aquino. And of course, coaching the RSJ team in his fourth all-star coaching set, the man dub, the living legend, from Ginebra San Miguel, Robert the Big J. Jaworski! There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's your RSJ team. We now get ready for the veteran squad. And to award the medallion to the members of the veteran squad, we have PBA Commissioner June Bernardino. Making his sixth all-star appearance. He was the league's most improved player awardee in 1991, a four-time mythical team selection, a score supreme aptly nicknamed the Adam Bomb. From the Sunkiss Bottlers, number four, Anto Agustin. <laughs> Emphasizing power in the power forward position, a strong inside operator with a smooth outside jumper. A four-time mythical team selection from San Miguel Beer, number 11, Nelson, the Bull, Asai Toro. <laughs> Unquestionably one of the top slot men of the PBA today. He has been appropriately dubbed the Tower of Power. The league's only recipient of both the Rookie of the Year Award and MVP Award in the same season. From Formula Shell, wearing number one, Benji Paras. One of the best low post operators today, he was the league's most improved player in 1994. A one-time all-defensive team member and two-time mythical team selection. From Alaska Milk, wearing number 61, Bong the Hawk, Hawkins Jr. The 1988 PBA Rookie of the Year awardee, one of the best clutch shooters the league has ever seen. A three-time mythical team selection, playing guard and forward in his seventh All-Star game appearance, 
Wearing number six from Alaska, Jojo Lastimosa. Among the best playmakers in the game today, he's making a record eight all-star appearance, playing at the speed of his nickname. At guard, wearing number 10 from Pure Foods, Dindo, the Bullet, Pumare! A perennial candidate to the PBA Mythical Team selection, he is one of the toughest matchups in the shaded lane. A three-time most valuable player, participating in his seventh All-Star game at forward from Pure Foods, TJ Hot Dogs, number 16, the captain, Albert Contribonio. And now, here are the starters for the All-Stars veterans team. At the guard position, he is arguably the best point guard in the game today. A three-time All-Star making his debut for the veteran squad. A two-time Mythical Five first-teamer. Number 14 from Alaska Milk, Johnny the Fly. Playing the other guard spot, he is one of the most electrifying performers the PBA has ever seen. A two-time mythical team selection, he is aptly nicknamed Mr. Excitement. Number 23 from San Miguel Beer, Paul Alvarez. Playing center, the sweet shooting slot man has made his mark on the defensive end of the floor, earning five straight nominations for the PBA All-Defensive Team in the last five years. Better known as the Defense Minister, number 44 from Pure Foods, Jerry Codignetta. Playing forward, his aerial wizardry has put him on many a highlight video reel. A three-time mythical team selection in the PBA's most valuable player last season. He'll be playing in his fifth All-Star game, wearing number 18 from the Sunkiss Bottlers, the aerial And at the other forward position, he is making a comeback to the PBA after almost two seasons lost to injury. The league's first ever recipient of the Sportsmanship Award in 1993. The original high-flying act of the PBA. Number nine from San Miguel Beer, the Skywalker, Avelino Samba. And coaching the veteran squad for a second straight year. He was the first recipient of the PBA's 100% award as a player back in 1983. One of only three coaches in PBA history to steer his team to a rare grand slam from San Miguel Beer, Norman Black. Okay, at this point, we'll have the two competing teams who meet at half court and shake hands as a sign of sportsmanship before the 1996 PBA All-Star Game begins. And maybe the best team win tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give these people a big round of applause for making it here tonight. Starting five oh. uh, at an RSJ, you see Kenneth Duremdes, you see Vince Hison, Noni Loxin, Baldevi, and of course at center, Marlo Aquino. Four Hinebra players in the starting five of Coach Robert Jaworski. 
ba? Bati di yan. Tinaman natin kung sino ang pinili ni uh, Coach Norman Black uh, ng Veterans Team. Mga na dyan si Johnny Abarientos, Verhel Meneses, Jericho Dinieri at center Sam Boylim Alvarez at uh, two uh, f- uh, guard positions. Now, we take a look at this kind of lineup, uh, Ed, and you'll see that it has tremendous quickness. That is a basic strength of the veteran squad. Okay, mga kaibigan, ah, sabi po ni Kinito, yung laki ng uh, RSJ at ito naman, yung bilis naman ng uh, mga veterans. Okay, uh, alam po namin na uh, gusto nyo po yung mga dinig, yung mga dalawang coaches na siya po ang hahawak nitong dalawang kuponang ito. And we have them for you. First, let's go over to Anthony Suntai, who's with Norman Black. Anthony? Okay, thank you very much, Ed. Coach, what can the, what can the fans expect, you know, about the, the way you're going to be playing the players you have here in the veteran team? Well, what I'm looking for, Anthony, is a lot of entertainment for the fans here today, a lot of excitement, try to get the ball out of bounds as quickly as possible, push it up the floor, maybe some acrobatic plays, and just crowd-pleasing plays. But when it all boils down to the fourth quarter, I'm sure you want to come out with the win here. Well, I think the two things we also have to concentrate on is, one, limiting our turnovers, and two, playing a little bit of defense because there is a little bit of pride at state tonight, so we really want to win the game. How much will two practices do for your team? Not much. <laughs> it's going to be whether the team can really gel right now, tonight. That's the team that's going to win this game. But I don't think the practice will have any bearing on this on this game tonight. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good time. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Okay, let's go to the other side with Chino Trinidad. Okay, mga kaibigan, lipat po tayo dito. Oh, mag-iisip tayo ng captain ball dito. Coach, pag mag-uusapan ng veterano, siguro wala nang be veterano sa'yo. Ang team mo, RSJ, rookie, sophomores, juniors. Saan kategory ka papasok doon sa yun? Sa rookie. <laughs> sa rookie. Yan po ang, ang pangatawa ni Coach Jaworski dito po sa laban na to. Pero sa'yo, Coach, anong true meaning ng isang All-Star game? Well, of course, uh, siyempre, parang uh, nasinek ka dahil maayos ang nilaro mo. Eh, napakalaking bagay niyan, you know. At dito, Coach, uh, ito ang chance para makasama mo yung uh, mga batang players ng Liga. Ito nga yung sabi natin, mga up-and-coming stars. Sila mga susunod na milyonaryo ng Liga. Doon sa sandaling time na nagsama-sama kayo, naroon kayo sinihal sa kanila na isang sikreto para siguro kung hindi ba nila mapantayan kung ano yung narating mo, eh mapunta sila doon sa tamang landas. Well, uh, alam mo, wala naman panahon para maraming sabihin. But ang sinabi ko lang sa kanila kanina na pinili sila dyan, at uh, respetuhin nila yung pagkakataon, bigay nila yung lahat ng kaya nila para makunsaluhan naman yung mga tao. Okay, Coach, dito makikita malakas na kasi itong team at maraming mabibilis dito. Ano makikita namin type ng game na to? Seryoso ba ito o pakakawalan mo lang yung mga players mo? Well, uh, kagaya na sinabi ko, siyempre kailangan seryoso unang-una dahil may taong nagbabayad at uh, may responsibilidad ka sa paglalaro mo. Hey Coach, maraming salamat. Uh, any final messages bago natin simulan itong uh, laro natin itong 1996 All-Star Game? Well, uh, sana it's worth the time of those people that paid. And I would like to thank the PBA fans for coming over and for those people that uh, are watching. Salamat. Okay, salamat din ang marami, Coach. Balik tayo kay Ed at saka kay ating kasamang si Kinito Henson. Ng uh, mga players na maglalaro po dito sa ating uh, All-Star Game, at narito ngayon, ang unang tinawag po ang mga veterano. Ang starting units na kanina rin po ay binigyan natin ng pansin doon sa ating pag-uusap with Pinito Henson. Muna po tinawag si Johnny Abarietos, si Sam Boylin, si Jerry Codillera, si Verhel Meneses, at si Bong Alvarez. Well, loaded itong lineup ng veterans. Yun nga lang, there is uh, some redundancy because... You might say that Samboy, Alvarez, and Meneses actually oh. play the same position. Oh, 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 yeah. They both, they all three can alternate as a big guard or small forward. Well, siguro ngayon eh, ika nga eh, sabi nga ni Coach Norman Black eh, wala rin naman yung practice pack, dalawa practice na yun, bali wala yun. Pero dito eh, ika nga, umaadlib yung mga coaches. Dito naman sa panic ng RSJ, na pinamumuno po ni Coach Robert Jaworski, ang tinawag po si Romel Santos, si Poch Huinho, si Jeffrey Carriazzo, si Edmund Reyes, at si Ray Evangelista. Uh, walang, walang hinebra rito ah. Iba yata ang discarte oh. ni Coach Robert Jaworski. Oh. Usually the fans choose the starters. Oh. But siguro humingi ng uh, clearance si Coach Robert Jaworski na hindi niya ilalaro the top vote-getters oh. who are the starters of the RSJ. 
but he chose a different combination. Iba ito, iba ito. So, ito si Coach Robert Jaworski talagang may tinatago. Ace up his sleeve. Ano may ha? panggulat ka agad. Ha? Oo. Gulpi di gulat ka agad. Well, uh, as far as the veterans na matter concerned, ang, uh, isip, ang isip nila, high octane offense. Which Oo. is the reason why they have that very quick combination on the floor. So, Madala, first two points of the All-Star game coming from Jeffrey Cariaso. Ito, mabilis ka agad yung ginawa nung uh, RSJ. Two to nothing for the rookie sophomores and juniors. Bob Alvarez, mga atake lamang kay Jeffrey Cariaso, nilabas kay Samboy Lim. Samboy against Ray Evangelista. Sumatak sa loob! Skywalker is fouled. Arthur, back to that point that we raised. No? So, so, Robert Jaworski not uh, staying with the top vote getters of his lineup. Siguro nakita niya that the starting five of the veterans, anchored by Samboy Lim on that right, will be too quick for the top vote getters. Um, like uh, Duremdes and si Loxin and si Aquino, and which is the reason why he has a quick combination in the floor. He's got Romel Santos and Jeffrey Cariaso manning the backcourt for the RSJs. At uh, nakikita po naman natin ngayon si Samboy Lim at the free throw line. Alam mo, napansin natin kanina, uh, nung una sa atin natin siguro yung uh, RSJ ay eh, mas malamang ang palakpakan dahil alam naman natin, karamihan dyan, Hinebra. Eh, Hinebra is the most popular club at uh, pinakamaingay po mga fans niya. Pero nakita natin itong uh, mga PBA fans. Whoa! At siya ng Fox Beauty on the reverse layup. Well, pinakita nila ang appreciation hindi lamang doon sa mga taga-Hinebra. Ngunit sa lahat ng players na nagpakita po rito at nagbigay na kanilang oras upang ihandog ito para sa fans ng PBA. Ito yan, uh, a lot of the fans uh, turned out here to, to show their admiration, their respect, and their appreciation not for just one or two teams, but for the entire league. Correct. Coach Rigo's pass was too long. It goes out of bounds for the veterans. Meron din isang sinabi si Coach Norman Black sa kanyang interview. The point of minimizing turnovers. Uh -huh. Palagay ko that is something very crucial in any all-star game because you will have a lot of unfamiliar players playing together practically for the first time although RSJs have uh, the advantage of more familiarity with five in other players in the squad so minimizing turnovers a point that coach Norman Black say, said during his interview is going to be a very important area to look out for in this game Ray Evangelista bringing in Bart Suino and it is a good player to go through both Pero po foul na nakita sa loob. Referee by Ledesma. Fouls it on Rahel Menezes. First personal foul. Alam mo, hindi ako magtataka kung uh, ang karabihan sa mga fans dito. Eh, itong ito, kung kanino sila. Sa so, pagkat uh, uh, in the regular PBA games, of course, meron silang uh, ikangay pinapaburan ng mga teams. At nandun yung mga players na yun na kanilang uh, kinagigiliwan din. But let's face it, marami silang nire-respeto ng mga players doon sa mga teams na hindi nila ika nga ay chinichir ka ano pero dito po ay nagkahalo-halo na ito kaya halos lahat pinapalakpa ka nila eh. well uh, take for example yung Pure Food squad you have three players from Pure Foods in the RSJ and also three in the veteran squad oh, oh. kaya hating-hati yan oo oh, talagang hating-hati <laughs> yung Pure Foods o kaya pwede sila po malakpak sa veterans pwede sila po malakpak dito sa RSJ oh. Ba, may play ang uh, mga veterano number 4 so they say yung si Johnny Abarito sabi si Romel Santos ano play play akin yan Coach Wigo is ahead yes Wigo already with 4 points in this game looks like the RSJ is playing with a little more fluidity oo oh, labang na ng tatlo ang RSJ na agawa na naman ang mga veterano Romel Santos with the lead pass another uh, turnover sakit na to baba <laughs> ng dalawang player na si Cariaso at si Edmund Reyes na kahiyaan. Partner, this is the typical tempo of an all-star game. High octane, oh. mabilis ang uh, takbo, and uh, you would expect that in an all-star game, as we mentioned earlier, offense to be the accent. And here's a turnover by uh, Johnny Abariantos. And when you're talking of offense, you're talking of uncomplicated offense. Siguro, both teams will stick to the fundamental or basic offensive plays like the isolation, yung uh, two-man strong side uh, game, anchored on the pick and roll. Yun yung mga basic yeah, no. plays that we will see in an all-star game. Romel Santos, binigay kay Ray Evangelista. Baseline drive ni Ray. Pero pong foul na tatawagin. Foul na kay Verhel. This is the second personal foul. At ang RSJ po, rookie sophomores and juniors, 
with a half-court inbounds play. Pochuilio bring it to Jeffrey Carriasso. Ray Vangelista smarts. Voila. Romel Santos gets to the loose ball. That one is good. Alam mo, malaking bagay din dito sa mga rookies na mapasama ka agad sa All-Star Game. Isang malaking karangalan niya. Oh, yes! Sam Boylin, the Skywalker goes to work. That's a single-handed effort by Sam Boylin. And that's what he likes to do best. Score in the open court in transition. It's a three-point lead by the RSJ. Cariaso, nakita si Wigo. Oh, they were blast out. At yung uh, mga oh. tao. Well, you talk about familiarity and unfamiliarity. In that particular situation, you have two players from the same team knowing exactly where each other was going to be. Kanya si Cariaso was able to spot Pochvino. Open for the shot. Wigo's got six points in the game. Kaya siguro medyo na maraming turnovers itong mga veterano. Dahil ang point guard nila, si Johnny Abarientos, nalilito, nakikita niya yung mga kalaban, yung mga kalaban niya, kakampi niya. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> Totoo yan. Nakikita niya si Cariaso, oh. si Paul Suinio. Teka muna, kanino ko ipapasa ito? <laughs> Kaya nakakadalawa, tatlong turnover natin si Johnny. Five-point lead by the RSJ. Jeffrey Cariaso. Edmund Reyes against Samboy Lim. Good turnaround jumper by Reyes, but he misses the mark. Bong Alvarez scoots it to the front court. Tumuloy-tuloy si Bong! Lumipad at nakakuha ng foul. Cariaso, tatawagan po na kanyang unang personal foul dito sa first quarter ng ating All-Star Game. Gaya po ng ating nabanggit kanina, napakasaya po nitong uh, araw na ito para sa mga tagapagtaguyod ng uh, PBA, sa PBA fans, sapagkat uh, boom-boom po, kompletong-kompleto yung uh, mga players na inaasahan nilang makita at uh, maglaro dito. Hindi lamang dito sa All-Star Game, kanina rin doon sa ating mga fun games. As you look at Benji Paranas and Ato Agustin on the Veterans Bench, Kanina po sa ating uh, Nissan Terano Sports Series buzzer beater, Jack Santiago Nagwagi sa Lipovitan Slam Dunk. Ang team po ni Marlo Aquino and Noni Loxin edged out the Pure Food Squad. Samantalang sa Master by Eskinol 3-point shootout, si Rick Rick Marata ang tinangal pong 3-point king. Okay, Edmund Reyes backing up against Samboy M. Ito, so, ginamit na ni Edmund Reyes yung kanyang katawan doon, laban kay Samboy. Yan, yes, a uh, very physical player. Tawag nga kay Edmund Reyes sa Pure Foods, taong bato. And that particular situation, taking advantage of his uh, his heft, his buff oh, mo, against uh, Samboy. Yun yung physical player without really trying. Oh. Di ba? Hindi na niya kailangan <laughs> ikang, eh, eh, magbigay pa ng uh, effort. Eh. Well, Edmund Reyes, a late addition to the RSJ lineup, subbing for the injured Dennis Espino. Tama, si Dennis Espino po, hindi nakapaglaro sa pagkat may injury. Kaya po nakapasok si Edmund Reyes at half first punch sa kagat. Johnny Abarietos, bubogol, galing sa Kiho. Sabi niya siguro, kung isa yung setup ko, uh, hindi kami magkaintindihan pag-aano, hindi pa kami nagkakaamuyan na gusto. Ako na lang tumira. Four point lead for RSJ. The veterans were seeing a lot of one-on-one -on -one play and very few assists. On the other hand, ito namang uh, RSJ, they seem to be playing with a little more cohesion. Ito na naman ang one-on-one -on -one play. Aba, may pasa! Yes. Swak na swak! Nakita naman siya. Ayun, veterano yan. Oh, Samboy oh. Lim. Meron siyang tira sa ilalim. Medyo mahirap yun. Pero nakita niya, libring-libring si Johnny. Sabi niya, bad natin pahihirapan ng uh, oh. sarili natin. Di ba? Mautak din ito si Johnny Abariantos. He knew that there was going to be a cut from the baseline. And he found himself wide open for the pass. Samboy Lim stares the rebound out of the miss by Cariaso. Got it to si Johnny Abariantos off to Samboy. Samboy Lim, pipikat na sa labas. Three point shot won't go. Lari to the man, see Jericho Dinera with the offensive rebound. Oh, look away pass by the Alvarez. Yan ang gusto makita ng mga tao. A nice fake move by uh, Bong Alvarez underneath the basket. And don't look now, the veterans have chopped down that lead to only two. Pero sumagot ka na. Ang RSJ, courtesy of Jeffrey Cariaso, who now has four points in the game. Part of the points of the RSJs coming from inside the paint. And uh, that's a surprise considering the big men are still not on the floor. Well, the big men we're talking about are Marlo Aquino and DJ Fire. Although they do have that big man, Paul Aquino, who has scored six points in this game so far. Merhel Menezes hits it from the outside. His first two points of the game. Nakangalahati na po tayo sa first quarter. Asa ni Rey Evangelista, masyado mababa para kay Paul Aquino. Another turnover here by uh, the RSJs. 
Menezes, Lamarck, Evangelista, and the basketball, Alvarez. Alvarez off to Johnny Abarrientos from the key. Voila. Agarada and Bola. Capo de Edmund Reyes. Reyes spots for Ben Santos up ahead. Santos gets it over to Evangelista. Nice play. Perfect fast break execution there by the RSJs, and they're up by four again. And only two men back in defense for the veterans. And that was a three on two situation. Easy fast break layup. Vergel Menezes. Pirigay kay Johnny Abarrientos. Malako, titira ni Vergel nun. He had an open lane. Samboy Lim off the glass, in and out. At si Poch Huidio po nakakuha ng rebound para sa RSJ. Gusto nila nang dagdagan ito kanilang apat na puto sa kalabangan. Carriasso all the way. And it's back to a six-point lead para sa rookies, sophomore as a junior. Well, we promised you a game highlighted by offense. And so far, we're seeing oh. a lot of tremendous offense. Very little defense. But of course, everybody enjoying the action. Very oh, early in this All-Star game. Okay, so mga kaibigan, narito po ang unang timeout dito sa ating All-Star game. RSJ's mga kaibigan, 16 out of the 22 points of RSJ coming from inside the paint. Whereas yung po veterans, they have scored only 4 out of 16. Yeah. Yeah. Got 6 out of 18. Okay, yung po si Jericho Diniera naman ang uh, tumikata sa loob. It's a 4-point lead para sa RSJ. 4 minutes and 33 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Noni Luxin is in the game now para sa RSJ. And he gives a pass to Coach Video. Mino scores to Vince he's on the pop in as many coach Jaworski so matalang sa panic naman ng veteran si Alvin Patrimonio ang pumasok para kay Bong Alvarez Jerry Cordillera left-handed layup ah, back to back hits by Jerry now this is a bigger lineup that coach Robert Jaworski has on the floor but he's still sticking with Romel Santos manning the point guard position in season, of course, giving uh, this team uh, this combination of some mobility. Boy, you have a key on it on today's night. And the one uh, sa panic ng veterans, pumasok si Lastimosa at Paras para kay Codiniera at Samboy. Let's give you an update on the turnovers. Uh, we did mention that it's going to be a critical area to look out uh, for in this game. Both teams, veterans and RSJs, with four turnovers apiece. That's a high rate, considering we're only in the first period. In assist, six turnovers for RSJs and only three for the veterans. And uh, the veterans seem to be employing more the one-on-one -on -one offensive tactics, particularly when Bong Alvarez and Sam Boylin were in the game. 24 to 20 in favor of the RSJ. Nasa kanila ang bola. Vince Fison to the the bola sa center line. Coach Wiener nagita na pasan. Nilabas kay Romel Santos. Tapo the key jumper by Santos. Wala. Noni Luxin gets to the loose ball. Luxin lamang kay Paras. Uh, the rebound by George Lastimosa off to Johnny Abarrientos. Abarrientos, binigay kay Patrimonio. Patrimonio slides in and misses. Benji Paras, wala rin. Patrimonio left. Gagawin ni Vince Hison. Hison scoots into the front court. Hison pa rin. Bounce pass to Ronnie Luxin. Yan ang tinatawag natin na being in the right place, right time. And of course, the familiarity factor between two Hinebra players. Marlo Simos down on the floor. Bumagsak si Marlo. Marlo looks like he's hurt. Oh. He's not moving. He's standing up, but he's not moving. But he's not even trying to get the rebound. Nasaktan ito si Marlo. Nakuha na bon. Ano nangyari ito? Kasi hindi nagdidepensa si Marlo. Kanya akala pinin ng veteran. Nakampi siya. Kanya pinasahan. But they should stop this game momentarily because Marlo Aquino looks like he's hurt. He can't move. Well, he's... Well, now he's... 
Hindi <laughs> ko maintindihan. Wala ko si Manu Aquino. Hindi na nakakala. Tapos napatakbo pa pala. He's going through the motions. Oh. Pero kanina siguro medyo masakit yung bagsak niya. Oh. Uh, he's been able to shake it off. Oh, mukhang okay. Hindi ko maintindihan ito. Well, this is the excitement in an outside game. Here we go once more. Fast break attack. Three on one. Perez has gets it back to Jaria Barrientos. And they score the two points to cut the lead down to only two again at 26-24. Ito yung quickness factor ng veterans. We're seeing slowly emerge with the entry of Loxin and Aquino slowing down the RSJs. Coach Vigna, tanga ng bola, binigay kay Romel Santos alabas. Looking at Marlu Aquino. Aquino slides in. The figure roll. Second attempt by Marlu. Sumabay si Benji Paras at pumito ang referee. A foul on Benji, his first personal in the game. At ang ating pong score, 26 for RSJ, 24 for the veterans with a minute and 34 to go in the first quarter. We have this timeout. Magpalamig tayo! At ang ito. At medyo po nakakagulo rito sa Coneta Astrodome sapagkat in-announce lang po na meron pa lang mga premyo na itinago, itinikit din po sa ilalim ng mga upuan ng, uh, dito sa Coneta Astrodome. At ito, nagwawagi po ng mga gift certificates itong uh, mga nanonood dito. Well, trip to the US. So, ano? Marami yata nakakuha ng premyo. Oo. Oh. And uh, we're seeing uh, some fans now holding on to papers that were stuck underneath their oh, seats. Oh, gift certificates. Oo. Oh. And uh, those papers or those sheets of paper Tinignan mo na ba yung form mo? Ha? Tinignan mo na ba yung form? Hindi, wala kaya tatol. Hindi, tikit ako na lang. Kung tinignan mo yun sa akin, may nakatikit, bubble gum. Ang laki. Akin yun. Sabi ko na, ikaw nagparada ron eh. Babalikan mo sana, no? Okay. Ayan ang sinasabi natin, points in the plate, the RSJs. 20 points and only 10 points to the inside of the plate. They've got 23 points. And Poch Rino has been a revelation as a starter here for Coach Robert Jaworski. He is now in double figures. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali, naka 10 points na yata ito si Poch. That's correct. Poch Rino has 10 in the game. Dito pumanan. Mapapasok lang po dito sa panik ng mga veterano. Jojo Lastimosa picks it up. Good fake. And the jumper by Jola. Tatlo, ang kalamangan ng RSJ Less than a minute ago here in the first quarter Medyo malakas ang pasa ni Val David Sabi ni Noli Luxin Ala, ito yung magkakampi tayo Dati na tayo magkakampi, di ba? Of course, Robert Chaworski has four Hinebra players Now on the floor, so he's going with the Familiarity feature Poch Winio is the only non-Hinebra player Now on the floor for the RSJs Ano kang malaking bagay kay Coach Chaworski Itong high factor Ay, oo at saka, of course, yung uh, run and gun style ng Hinebra, oh. which we're gonna see very evident now in the next few plays of the RSJs. Ito naman coach uh, Norman Black, the veterans. You notice that he's got uh, Bong Hawkins and Giorgio Lastimosa now playing uh, at the same time. And you would expect that maybe Johnny Aparientos should be on the floor at this time so that he can use yung kanila triangle offense na ginagabi ni coach Tim Tone. Alvin Patrimonio, nilabas kay Benji Paras. Good fake by Benji, subaktak sa loob. Tatawagan ang foul si Poch Winio. Well, siguro, ang work na naman ni Coach Norman Black. Gusto makita siguro ng mga tao, yung halo-halo. Oo. Bigyan natin ng pagkakataon. Well, of course, the idea behind not going with the familiar players is to not be too predictable. Because kung mahalo tayo nga naman ni Coach Robert Jaworski, that puro Alaska yung mga nasa... Uh, loob ng floor and he might be able to devise a defense anticipating what the Alaska players usually do. On the other hand, you have 40 never players. Bukang so maglilima na. Bukang maglilima na. EJ Pala, I'm going check in. Scorer's table, although oh, we only have 22 seconds left here in the first quarter. So it negates the argument of predictability that you are using. Eh, kaka nila, ito eh, katuwa. Ito eh, katuwa. Ito, ito ang Hinebra na ito. Hinebra na, nagsiyawa na ito. Hiyawa na po ang mga Hinebra fans. It's an all Hinebra 5 on the floor for Coach Robert Jaworski. RSJ up by 1. Bal David, masyado malakas ang tira. At with season, tabi-tabi na bola dito po maren. Off to Benji Paras. Medyo malakas ang pasa, pero nakuha ni Benji. And for the first time, the veterans take the lead. At 30-29, just in time for the buzzer ending action 
Dito po sa first quarter ng ating All-Star Game, the veterans up on top by one. When you practice, the bay of thirst, strike. All-Star Game para sa 1996, laban na veterans versus the rookie sophomores and juniors, Paul Hopkins for the veterans. From left quarter court, at pinigyan po niya ng kalamangan na tatlong punto sa mga veterano, 32 to 29. Very basic play ng offense ng uh, veterans. Ha? Nagkaroon ng baseline cut. Tapos nag-scream, si Bob Hawkins was free from the outside. Ito naman si Houston, free. At si Benji Paras, nandun na naman para sa fast break. Uh, bukang simple-simple, porti na ng uh, veterans. Basta Benji, takbo ka agad doon sa harap. Ibupukol na lang sa'yo. Hintayin mo na lang ang bola. Good season naman, no? Nasabita ni Jojo Lastimosa. Well, alam naman ni Coach Don and Black that when uh, Coach Robert Jaworski goes to his big lineup, he need to say the size advantage going with uh, Fyle Aquino and Lonnie Loxin. He will be sacrificing mobility for size. And uh, you can expect the veterans to also speed it up. Step on the gas. Ito na naman! Another steal by the veterans. Dito pa ba? And pulls up. Nakita si Patrimonio. Papasok sa loob. Pihit na Patrimonio. Sa lahat na pick ni Lonnie Loxin. It goes out for the veterans. Maganda itong combination ni Coach Norman Black. He has two tough playing forwards who are good inside operators who also have a shot from the outside. We're talking of Alvin Patrimonio and Bong Hawkins. Eh, yung sentro niya. Hindi mo matawaran. Benji Paras yan. Ah, oo. At si Jojo Lastimosa naman sa number two slot. At point guard ko si Dindo Pumarin. Masarap talaga na sarili niya. Pero mga ako po ang bola. It goes out of bounds in favor of the RSJ which is now composed of an all Hinebra lineup. Parang Hinebra against the world ito, ha? Oo. Ganun ang dating yan, o. E.J. File, labang kay Benji Paras. Nabitawa na po lang ako ni Marley Aquino. Nakita si Baldavid sa ilalit. Yan ang sinasabi yung familiarity. Alam mo kagad kung nasaan yung mga kakampi mo eh. Nasa itaas yung mga malalaki. Nandun naman sa kabahay maliit. And of course, yung defense ng veterans. That was nice defense on the part of Marley Aquino. And here we go. Fitz Hison! Take it to sound barrier! He doubles one well, fast break to Vince Hison. He puts the RSJs back on top by 2 at 36-34. Dito Pumarin. Pasa kay Patrimonio. Lastimosa. Libre. Pasa dyan. Nakukuha ni Benji Paras. Lumabas. Benji Paras na naman. Laba kay Vince Hison. Uhoy. Nag-dribble-dribble pa si Benji na patalikod. Pero basado malakas ang tira. Nakukuha ni Marlo Aquino. Ano din si Val David. Sumusugod para sa RSJ. Mabasado mababa ang pasa kay Dolly Loxin. 9 minutes and 28 seconds remaining dito po sa second quarter ng uh, napakasayang All-Star Game. At itong mga tao rito, hindi magkamayaw sa pagsigaw. Oh. Sisigaw sila rito sa kabila, sisigaw na naman sila sa kabila. Unbelievable crowd reaction, Ed. Ha? For oh. every play that we're seeing, nagkakaroon ng crowd reaction. Eh, sinabi nga natin, ito ang kanila mga favorite uh, PBA players. Wala kang uh, tulak kabigin dito. Ah, easy two points. Last break may din ng uh, RSJ, picked up by EJ File to Bal David. Well, nakakulo ang opensa ng veterans. Uh, again, the unfamiliarity factor. Looks like it's a major handicap for the veterans. Uh, nangyari dito nga, eh, ang uh, San Miguel, ang uh, bumubuo ng RSJ. Samantalang ang, uh, kung naman, ang uh, veterans, eh, Halo-halo pulutan ito. The Pure Foods, the Alaska Chaser. Ayun. Ayan naman ang size advantage that Coach Robert Jaworski has had in mind from the very start in assembling this all-star cast for RSJs. Two offensive rebounds. Lamang ng apat ang RSJ. Meron pang bonus shot para kay Lonnie Loxin. Wala. Bong Hawkins recovers it for the veterans. Nakuha ni Dindo Pumarin ng pasa. Three on two. Pumarin, binigay ka si Woso. Balik ulit kay Dindo. Ay, matabi lakad. Bal David. Off to Lonnie Loxin. Loxin, nakita si Hizol at the baseline. Ganda ng mga pasahan. Benji Maras picks up his third personal foul. Well, run and gun action on both sides of the floor. 
Both teams looking to score in the open court in transition. And kagaya ng binanggit natin ganina, in this kind of a situation, you will expect the team that has the rebounding advantage to have a very, very big edge in scoring in transition. They should be able to control the tempo. Ma, Bill Season, ang bintis ng dalawa. Apat pa rin ang abante ng RSJ. Dodge and Astimasa to Bong Hawkins. Hawkins, dinabas kay Dindo Pumaran. Open shot. Wala. Kapag kay Patry Bollo para napulo ni Vince Hizon. Hizon sumusugod ngayon. Binigay kay Val David. Uy! Anong kinawa ano? Sa nagdaan niya. Sa nagdaan. Nakalusit na naman si Val David. Alam mo, ito si Val David ay isa sa mga higangan. Malakas ang palakpak kanina ng mga tao. Nung uh, pinakilala po yan si Val David. Kamatara, si Benji para sa mga pinakikita pa rin niya na isa pa rin dominant factor ito sa uh, center slot. Vince Hizo naman na kayong 3-point shot, hindi pumasok. Marlo Aquino takes it away from Bong Hawkins. Aquino, the British, second try is good. Marlo Aquino showing why he is a human pinball. Skyscraper ang tawag natin dyan eh. Talaga naman, eh. nakita mo naman kung ano inagaw yung rebound kay Bong Hawkins. Benji Paras. Dindo Pumaran. Uy, nakuha ni Game Season at pinahal siya ni Giorgio Lastimosa. Giorgio Lastimosa in a romantic embrace. Lagi na kumanin sa last break na yan, ha? Ayaw ko na yan. Ito po, makikita ninyo. Paano lubusot ito si Val David? Hindi ko nangalaman kung saan nagkaling ito, saan nagdaan. Pinasok lahat ng one way. At lubusot. He also had 180 o 360 degree turn nyo. Mukha 360 yun. Mukha ka 360. O, 520 pa. Okay. Ito na naman. Bal David. Hindi po pumasok ang tira. Nakuha nila sa Asay Toro. Si Asay Toro po pumunit kay Benji para sa meron ng tatlong personal fouls. Hawkins is open for a jumper. Ayan eh. Ito nga eh. Master na master ni Bong Hawkins yan. Veterans going to the perimeter. Getting some shots from Bong Hawkins and earlier Giorgio Lastimosa. Power move. Wala nang nangyari. Pinara ni Nelson Asay Toro. Ito si Dindo Pumarin. Two big, two big men of Ginebra still in the backcourt. And yeah, yeah, they yeah, they yeah, yeah. Oh. Ayan ang mangyayari. Aquino and File, not exactly the quickest players in the league. Getting left behind in defense. At dalawa na lang ang abante ng RSJ. Pero nasa kanila ang bola, Vince Hizon. Dinusod na ni George Anastimosa ngayon. Dinabas kay EJ File. File, pubihit. Wala. Pwede niya na para sa rival. Dakit na sa team to go back. Balda Bid, Nick. Umahabo, pero narito si Nelson na sa Itoro on the trail. Ayun ang sinasabing wais. Wais yun. Vince Hizan taking it from the outside. Wala. Tabla po tayo, 44. Amanos. 3-point shot by Jonas is no good. At kabungguan po ang dalawang veterano. At bumagsak si Bong Hawkins. Hawak-hawak yung kanyang kanang tuhod. Kabadala sa ilalim. Good season. Uy, offensive foul. Matatawa kini referee de Dios. Kabadala si Bong Hawkins mo ay nakaupo pa rin sa court. Okay, meron po tayong timeout. Balik po na. At pinalitan na po siya ni Verhel Meneses. Binagyan nila ng painkiller yung tuhod at pinalutan ni Yelo. May hirap na. Okay. Hindi po pwedeng isugal yung mga ganyang klaseng niya. Oh, well, let's hope nothing, uh, nothing serious. Lalo-lalo nga, team nito, Alaska, eh, kaya nga, eh, in uh, very strong contention sa regular uh, PBA uh, tournament po natin. Okay, pero uh, mukha namang uh, ayos siya. Oh, uh, it doesn't kung, look like he's in uh, pain. Kung sakasakali yung kinakalangan mami, pwede itong bumalikyan. Uh, but one thing we've noticed is that the intensity level being shown by both these teams is sky high. Yes. And this is something... Rather unusual in All-Star games where uh, players don't usually want to play that hard because they want to not risk getting injured. Well, it's not just an All-Star game. These are fun games. We can see that we can really give it to the participants. Both in the buzzer beater, in the slam dunk, and in the three-point shot. We can really give it to the people who are in the game. Here are the veterans. Look away pass to Garhel Menezes. 
Kenneth Duendes and Rodney Santos in the game. Now for uh, Inebris and Miguel. It's a smaller lineup that Coach Robert Jaworski has on the floor, but it is a quicker lineup. Obviously, I recognize the Coach Robert Jaworski. Now, it is si Coach Tom and Black. Gumagabit ng bilis factor against this team. So, what are the Berher Menezes? And you can ask about the Unang free throw as you look at Alvin Patrimonio, of course, playing for the veteran squad. Menezes. At uh, binigay po ni uh, Berhel ang isang punto kalamangan para sa mga veterano, 45-44. Of course, the veterans being mentored by Coach Norman Black. Rodney Santos inside to Marlo Aquino. Pagpihit po dyan, nandun si Nelson Asaito na sumapit. Kasawagan uh, na ang kanyang unang personal foul si Nelson Asaito na dito po sa ating uh, laro ito. Nasa second quarter tayo. 4 minutes and 38 seconds remaining in the second period. Marlo Aquino earlier figured in the slam dunk competitions with Nori Loxin and uh -huh. he towed Ginebra San Miguel to the championship of the slam dunk tournament. Di kita laban yun sa championship na with Pure Foods. Yes. Earlier you caught a glimpse of the four-time All-Star coach, Robert Jaworski. Labang na naman ang RSJ. By one point, Nelson Asaitono, Yuboyo sa Eren, nawala. Pero napulit niya ulit yung loose ball. Dinabas ngayon kay Ato Agustin. Menezes from the flag. At sinabaya sa loka niya kakampain si Kenneth Turendez. Sinulak naman ni Beryl Menezes ito si Kenneth Turendez. Very playful. Yes, sure. Sabi nga natin itong All-Star Games, mga kaibigan. Katuwaan ito para sa mga fans. Katuwaan din ito para sa mga players. Sapagkat, higa nga, walang gaano pressure ito. Walang, higa nga, eh yung bang factor na kalabang kita ganito ganon eh ito eh talagang uh, para bigyan po ng uh, kasaksakan ang lahat ng tao involved sa PBA pati na rin tayo hindi ito masaya tayo rito oh, tayo, oh. ito tayo ng ganitong klaseng laro maganda ang laro pero walang uh, ikaw nga inita na ulo oh, well spectacular nga ito as we mentioned this is a once in a year classic all right, four minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the second quarter. It's a one-point lead by the veterans at 47-46. Di kita po naman nito. Ayun, si John Rodney Santos, pinakita naman. What's up, he's made of. Ayun ang sinasabi natin, a very fundamental offensive play, yung isolation. Rodney Santos getting the jump on Ato Agustin. He has an advantage. Para na patahari, para pinalpal ni Marlo Aquino si Jerry Cotillera. Jerry tries again. Sabi niya, ayaw mo ko patirahin sa ilalim. Dito ako. Ito naman, binabantayan naman ngayon ni Jerry si Barlo. Pumilit ng umagaw si Jerry. Ah, mali yun. Yes. Big risk on the part of Cotinera. Kanya na wala ito si Marlo Aquino. Wala namang help defense. Kanya, uncoordinated ang defense ng RSJ. Kaya sa nasa ito, sumagot naman sa kabila. Ito na yung sinasabi nilang shootout at okay to rally. Kaya-kaya na ito. Oops! Pasa ni Gary Aparetos. Tumama kay Val David. Nag-iisa si Marlo. Sabi niya kay Kenneth. Ano ganito? Isa pa! Yun! Siniguro na. Yun ang katuwaan. Oo. Tsaka very unselfish play on the part of Marlo Aquino. He could have easily gone in for a slam dunk. But he wanted Kenneth Durandes to show some acrobatics. Sa batala si Verhel Menezes. Pagbitis galing sa labas. Jerry Cordillera. Wala rin ba? Offensive rebound by the veterans. Medyo subexhibition si Nelson Alzaito. Tuwag-tuwa ang mga tao. Hindi nga lang pumasok. It's out of bounds. Pero po tayo yung timeout. Magpalamig tayo. Juniors. Verhel Menezes. Para sa mga veterano. Binigay kay ito Agustin. Agustin. Nagahanap na baba po sa amin. Nagalit ko na kay Menezes. Ang napakagandang matchup nun ha. Kenneth Durandes versus Verhel Menezes. Yes. Kanina pa yan. Very rare opportunity that you see both players going up against each other since they play for the same team. At ito. Si Menezes. At si Durandes rather. Ang nakalamang doon sa matchup na yun. Sapagkat nakataga po siya ng pasa sa loob. At isinubo na lang yung bola sa ring. Lamang na naman ang RSJ na tatlo. 54-51. Johnny Abarriato is missing from the outside. Durandes para sa rebound. Baldamid. Sees Rodney Santos. And he'll play! 
That's a picture perfect pass coming from uh, Bal David. You know, Sakli. <laughs> Sakli. That is exactly. Yes. You know, what is unbelievable is that Bal David was picked on the third round by uh, Sankist last year Tama, oh. and did not make it in the team. No? Well, of course, very loaded then ang uh, Sankist. But uh, Bal David was signed up not as a draft pick by Ginebra, but as a free agent, which is uh, an incredible. Uh, reality considering that Baldevid is such an outstanding player. Okay, ano binati ko na nangyari kay Bong Hockey si Chino po nandun sa side na yun. Chino? Nakita niyo po kanina yung uh, tama ni Bong Hawkins yung nagsalubong yung tuhod ni Nelson at saka ni Bong. Bong, una-una, anong tinamaan? Tuhod, hita? Yung tuhod mismo. First time kang nakaramdam ng gano'n na klaseng bangga galing sa isang malaki rin player katulad mo? Oo, oh, at saka pareho kami kasing in motion, pareho kami papunta sa bola. Tapos hindi, pareho kami nakatingin sa bola kaya pag tamang ganun talagang hindi ko na alam kung ano nangyayari. Pag... Ikaw alam ko, durable player ka. Alam ko na susukat mo kung anong lakas ng katawan mo meron. Tingin mo, seryoso yung tama mo? Sa... Hopefully, sana hindi naman. Dahil mahaba pa yung conference. Eh. Semi... Magsisimula pa lang yung semifinals. Uh, sana hindi naman seryoso. Sana hindi masyado seryoso. Pero itong mga batang alaban nyo, mukhang sineseryoso kayo. Oo. Oh. Ang lalakas, yaka takbo ng takbo eh. Okay. Bong, sana hindi malala extent itong damage ito. Gusto na yung makita ka maglaro dahil Friday simula na nung tunay na gera. Sige, Bong. Thank you. Okay. Maraming salamat, Chino Trinidad with Bong Hawkins. At uh, ino-observahan pa raw yung uh, tuhod niya. Samantara, sa Ato Agustin, galing po sa labas. At ang RSJ po ay labang na ng pito ngayon, 60 to 53. Less than a minute to go here in the second quarter. Ano ito si Val David? Oh, ganda na pasa kay Dano Aquino. Look away pass by Val David. Well, Val David is uh, controlling the situation right oh. now. He's uh, issuing passes. He's making things happen for the RSJs. And there has to be defensive pressure on Val David because he's the man of the hour here for Coach Robert Jaworski. And here he comes again. Oh, boy. Val David once more. He's a streak of lightning on the floor. Garado-garado ito si Val David dito sa ating All-Star Game. He has given the RSJs an 11-point spread at 64-53. to Johnny Abarientos. Ito si Val David, palagay ko. He deserves a moniker like Kitlat. Parang oh. Kitlat ito kung gumalaw eh. Okay, the pass goes out of bounds. It will stay with the veterans with only 3.6 seconds remaining here in the first half. Johnny Abarietos, pupukul po, galing sa right corner, wala. And the buzzer sounds, ending the first half of this fun all-star game between the veterans, the rookies, and sophomores and juniors. At huwag po kayo maalis, mga kaibigan, marami pong inihanda ang PBA dito po sa ating halftime break. Abangan po ninyo, sapagkat marami tayong features. Meantime, let's go back to home studios. Parang uh, very much in control ng tempo of RSJ. So, Coach Robert Jaworski doing a masterful job using quickness with his combination. Tapos na to his Inebra team. He goes for size and he's keeping the defense of uh, the veterans guessing. Sabatara si Sam Boyle, minibot kay Bong Alvarez. Yung dalawang mga nalalaro na ikaka nagbibigay na excitement sa mga tao. Sam Boylem at Bong Alvarez pero si Benji para sa umiscore doon. 13 na naman ang kabante ng RSJ. Benji para sa near steal and the ball goes out of bounds in favor of the veterans na si Papo ni uh, Jeffrey Cariaso. Patrimonyo so far uh, kaya yung sinabi ni Kinito hindi pa pong umiscore is 0 out of 3. Benji para sa the other way Paras has a total of 15 in the game. Well, mas, par mas parami tayo na kikita one-on-one -on -one moves from the veterans than uh, the other states. But mas was a one-on-one -on -one move by Kenneth yeah. Durandes. Kenneth Durandes off the glass. Johnny Abarientos. Samboy Lim. Sumaksak sa loob. Ah, Nakatapit ni Kenneth Durandes. Pero napulit naman ni Johnny Abarientos. Wala. Cariaso para sa rebound. 
Pochuino. Pumaksak si Gerardo, sakit na si Marlo Aquino against Benji Caras. Aquino scores. Uh, RSJ is playing unselfish ball. They're looking for the extra pass. You know, this was a problem that we anticipated from the veterans, Ed. Huh? Mm -hmm. That they have too many big-time scorers. And there's just one basketball to pass around. <laughs> We're seeing not too much passing. And a lot of just one-on-one -on -one activity on the part of the veterans. Kanya sila, kanya yung kanilang shot selection eh. Medyo mas mababa, no? Contra Pectus, yung tira ni Benji. Ito si Carriazo, hinahabol ni Bong Alvarez, pero he is gone. And Coach Dolman Black of the veterans will have to talk this over with his boys. 7.56 to go in the third quarter. Palaki mo na palaki. Ang kalamangan ng uh, mga rookies, sophomores and juniors, oh, yes. mga sa 17 puntos. Kaya tapatawag na mahagang time out si Coach Norman Black. On your screens, Ms. Uh, Gigi Prats of Duty Free Philippines. Tumatala si uh, Johnny Abarrientos. It's a free throw line. That's the lead down to 16. Alalahanin po rin yun mga veterans, no? Usually, this at uh, almost all-star games, nakakatatlong laban na po itong veterans at uh, RSJ. Parati na nalo mga veterans. Pero dito, malaki kalamangan ng RSJ. Well, take a look at the third quarter field goal so far. RSJ still perfect. Five out of five from the field. Tino mo mga extra pass, ha? <laughs> Teamwork! Get that. On the part of the RSJ's very unselfish play. That time, Port Suidio handing it off to Marlu Aquino. At ito, nakagawa na naman ni Robert Santos si Johnny Abarrientos. And Carriazo! More fast break baskets. Ah, oh, partner, if you examine the style, the coaching style of Robert Jaworski, you will see that his coaching style fits more an all-star situation because well, more free freewheeling and style ni Coach uh, Sani, no? Tsaka gusto niya, yung fast break, yung uh, all-star game, nakikita natin, things are working in the favor of Robert Jaworski. At that time, subaksak si uh, uh, Benji Paras at sumabay si Marlo Aquino. Tatawagan po na kanya pangatlong personal foul si Marlo. Ah, teka muna. Si Durandes ang tinawagan. Okay. Third personal on Kenneth Durandes. Some of the players from the RSJs on the bench, Rodney Santos, Bal David, Benji Paras, leading scorer yata siya ng uh, veterans. Yes, so far. With 15 points. 15 na. 17. Okay. And I think he's the only player on the veteran squad in double figures so yes, far. Yes, that's correct. So, sumusunod sa kanya, si Aparietos with 9 points. Pochuino, inside to Marlo Aquino, turnaround jumper is now good. Pochuino, Maren. Carriazo to Rovel Santos against Johnny Abarrientos. Ito na naman si Wino. Uy, off balance shot. Well, time was running out on the RSGs that time. Eh, here's an open court situation. Pero may foul. Yes, a foul is going to be called on Jeffrey Carriazo as he tried to thwart that incursion by Sambo in them. Well, good effort on the part of Jeffrey Carriazo preventing that open court layup. Oh. Actually, Sam Boy Lim lost the handle in midair. But dahil nga, dahil nga nabangga. Yung ah, yes. Oh, nabangga na yung kanyang, ano, yung kanyang balikat. Balikato. Yung Jeffrey Carriazo. EJ file on the bench. Uh, the <laughs> Tango na si EJ. Nasa ka oh, bench. <laughs> si Dion. Sabi na. <laughs> okay, 80-64. A 16-point lead by the RSJs. Uh, kick out. Alaska versus Alaska. Lastimosa versus Carriazo. Oh. That is Romel Santos. He's been doing a class act as point guard for yes. the RSJ. Actually, both point guards have been oh, uh, si doing an outstanding him. job for Coach Robert Williams. And Duremnes. May Awa shoot his bounce. That's eight points now for Kenneth Duremnes here in the All-Star game. Fast break points, ma. Saka na labang. RSJs with 22, only 15 for the veterans. At 18 puntos po ang kalamangan ngayon ng RSJ over the veterans. Giorgio Lascomoso with a turnaround jumper. Again, huh? that was uh, 
individual play oh. at its best by the veterans. Jolas has six in the game. And the last again is Duremdes. He has a Gemardo Aquino's low post and they use a Samboy. The Lamas Romel Santos, Jeffrey Cariaso gets Paras out of the way. Cariaso hits it. Cariaso, Cariaso at the Orsina. And the poise that you can see from RSJ. Oh. They're not uh, being impatient. Really? They're going for a high percentage shot. And the Lamas Johnny Barrientos again trying to be individualistic. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Makikita natin mas uh, intense itong uh, RSJs at this juncture, Kinito. Oo, oh, tsaka mas coordinated. No. They look very much organized. 20 na ang uh, mabante ng RSJ. Samboy Lim trying to weave his magic. Benji Paras, pinalpal ni Marlo Aquino. Kabit. Coach Winio to Kenneth Durebnes, tuloy-tuloy. And this could be a major, major upset in the making. Oh. As we said... Before the start of this contest, the veterans have always outplayed the uh, rookies, sophomores, and juniors. Well, the closest that they got was that two-point uh, uh, win by uh, the veterans in the very first uh, of the veterans series. timeout. <laughs> All American leadership on the floor, particularly from the point guard position. Abarientos has not been able to provide that leadership. Kanya niya pinalik ito si Dindo Pumarin. On the other hand, uh, RSJs getting good production from uh, the point guards. No? Si Ronald Santos, tsaka kanina si Bal David. And there's Johnny Abarientos on the bench with Nelson Asaitono. We also haven't seen the veterans uh, exploit their advantage in quickness. Mm -hmm. Bong Alvarez, I think, has been played uh, rather sparingly in this game. Certainly, uh, Coach Norman Black might be able to use his quickness to at least try to play defense against this very quick RSJ's uh, squad. Yes, uh, well, Coach Jaworski has seen to it that his young players are hardcore. He's going to be great. 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 He's going to be Dito naman si Jericho Dinera ay final ni Marlo Aquino. First personal on Marlo. EJ File is brought back in by Coach Jaworski for Poch Winio has played a spectacular job. Tsaka yung combination ni Jaworski ay palagi may dalawang malaki at tatlong uh, uh, mabibilis. And take a look at the difference in assists. Ba, mga, kay mga kaibigan, hindi na biro to. 30 assists for the RSJs and only 17 for the veterans. And that's the point that we've been... Uh, mentioning time and again ayun nagkaroon naman ng teamwork hindi lang pumasok yung tira pero John Rodney Santos gets it back oh. ito naman si Duramdes oh binutata ni Benji Paras Dindo Pumaran picks up the loose ball boy they needed that 3 on 1 fast break can they get the job done? no EJ 3 on 1 fast break and EJ file fail the attempt and what a skywalking move by Gerard Duramdes Two minutes and 35 seconds to go in the third period. At uh, wala pong humpay ang atake nitong RSJ. Biruin mo ha, three on one fast break na yung veterans. Hindi kanina na ipasok yung tira. Ito si Benji Paras. Nilabas kay Pumaran to Cordillera. Left for a court jumper by Cordillera. And finally, pure foods to pure foods. Dito po uh, Pumaran passing to uh, Jerry Cordillera. Pero nasa fifth gear Itong RSJ Tuloy-tuloy Si Kenneth Turembes already has 16 points In the game Very typical Ang laro ng uh, RSJ it's Typical Ginebra style Which is fast break As soon as you get the opportunity Throw the outlet oh. And race to the front court Kanya nga maganda yung combina combination Ni coach uh, Robert Jaworski no? He has two big men to take care of the rebounds And the outlet and three small men Ito, four to take one. care of the finish. Yes, finally. Major the boss, boss, and the Kalamangan ng RSJ. Jericho Dinera saves it for the veterans. Ito, another chance for them to cut down this huge lead. Okay, baby, na lang. 
na lang, eh. Eh, umabot yung kanina ng 26, eh. Okay, easy na naman itong uh, Ariel Chase. But of course, you have to remember, they're playing against veterans who know how to play under pressure. Sa bandala, meron po tayong timeout ng RSJ All-Star. Open sa point of the fourth quarter ng ating All-Star game between the veterans and the rookies, sophomores and juniors. Sa kasalukuyan, abante po ng DC 8 puntos ang mga RSJ ni Coach RSJ. A big explosion here by the RSJs, both in the second and third periods. You see the scores in the screens, 35-23. The explosion in the second period in favor of the RSJs. Roger Lestimos is followed by John Rodney Santos. Robert Jaworski, pinakamarami palang stints sa coaching dito sa ating All-Star Games. At yung katabi niya, siyempre pa, si Rino Salazar, ang kanyang assistant coach. Espinosa, hindi na ipasok yung Rina. Kailangan, kailangan pa naman nila yan. Pabalik si Benji Paranz para kay Jerry Codinera. Lastimosa, 8 years, a professional, a career average of 17.9 points a game. Career yan. Oo, career average yan. Kaya napakataas. Gaya ng binigit natin kanina, ang career average is 2 and 9 among the veterans, 17 points. Ayun namang RSJ, only 10 points. Yun nga lang, the RSJs seem to be playing more like a team in this game. Ayun, nakita na naman natin. A nice pass off the inbound. Pero hindi ko basag yung tira ni Vince Hizon. Berhel Menezes to Dean De Pumara. Binaligalik yung Berhel. He didn't expect it. Oh, ito mo naman. Nagpapakamatay yung mga RSJ. Dumaib ng gusto na ito si Vince Hizon. And that's the kind of intensity you would expect from a team coached by Robert Jaworski, never say die of philosophy dito eh. Nelson Asaitono sa Pantala, power move. Hindi pumasok at tira EJ file to Vince Hizon. Ito si Hizon, bumubulusok. Tumuloy ito rin, Vince Hizon! And Hizon, basta nakakita niya ng puwang eh, papasok yan. He doesn't want to disappoint his numerous fans. Na talaga naman kanina pa pumapalakpak para sa kanya. Sa Pantala si Verhel Menezes, pulls up for a jumper and misses the shot. That was a screen play that time, but no connection. And another fast break two points yes. by the RSJ. They're consistently scoring in transition. Bayti uno na po ang abante ng RSJ over the veterans. 102 to 81 is the count. Dindo Pomaran. Dindo Pomaran. Dindo Pomaran. Dindo Pomaran. Dindo Pomaran. Dindo Pomaran. Dindo Benji Paras, nice offensive rebound at the pet back. Benji Paras still top scoring for the veterans with 19. Maganda rin ang mga pasok ng tao ni Coach Robert Jaworski. For instance, you see Ray Evangelista in the game at this time. I think Robert Jaworski realizing that he's only taking that shot and making it. Siguro na-realize din ni Coach Robert Jaworski that one of the gambits of Coach Norman Black is to put in the fourth quarter men. In, uh, in fact, uh, Berhel Menezes and Jojo Lastimoso, oh. who are both clutch players, are in the game. That's why he's got Evangelista there. At darating na rin si Alvin Patrimonio, na doon ang suskaya. Yan ang mga ikangay aasahan mo. Pagka was on the line. Okay, Commissioner Bernardino now talking with the president of Vintage Enterprises, Mr. Ricky Velez. Ito po yung mga uh, tao na ikang ay siya pong responsible sa paghahatid ng uh, All-Star Games sa inyo. Dito po sa Coneta Astrodome at ngayon din sa ating television coverage. Benji Paraz at the line. Pinaalat ang mga veterano. Alvin Patrimonio trying to take it away from EJ Pyle, loses it to the baseline, so that's the RSJ and Bola. 104-85 is the count, a 19-point lead by the RSJ All-Stars. John Rodney Santos, one-on-one against Ato Agustin. Naipri Ilagan calls it a foul on Ato. First person niya, Ato Agustin. 
Kanina po, bago ng ating All-Star Game, nagkaroon tayo ng mga fun games. Buzzer beater was won by Jack Santiago. The stand-up contest was won by the team of Ginebra, Malo Aquino and Nolan Oxin. And the three-point shootout by Rick Rick Barata. Patrimonio, a nightmare of the game. Hindi pa yata nakakascore si Alvin. Hindi pa nakakascore si Alvin. Kanina, meron siyang dalawang free throw. Hindi naman pumasok. Vince Season at the line. Season with eight in the game. Nakikita po ninyo si uh, Sam Boy Lim uh, as a bench. Yes, and Sam Boy Lim and Bong Alvarez resting on the bench. 106 to 85. 21 na naman ang abante ng RSJ. Eight and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Veterans need a spark. Ito, si Ato Agustin. Yes, possible spark plug here. Ato Agustin. But now they've got to tighten up the defense on the other end. They've got to stop the RSJs from scoring those easy baskets in transition. Don't it upset the Navasque Rey Evangelista. Good handoff by Rey to Vince Hizon. Nice assist by Evangelista. And he's on hustling all the way. Oh. All-Star veterans hold a 3-0 edge over the RSJs head-to-head. -head. That's another Samson trivia. Eight minutes to go here in the fourth period. Ato Agustin inside the paint. Good jumper by Ato. Back to back jumpers. Pero hindi sila pwedeng ikang makapagsabay lang sa scorer. Kailangan magdepensa rito sa kabila. Maganda pinapakita ng opensa nitong RSJ. Tinan natin ngayon kung ano mangyayari dito. Rodney Santos may gana ng bola. Nakatingin kay Nolan Luxin. Luxin against Patrimonio. Wala. Luxin goes for the rebound and he puts it back. Another offensive rebound for the RSJs. Oh. Almost in total control, ha? Yes. Off the boards. And well, we did mention very early in the game that uh, rebounding very key in the scheme of attack of our Riyadh's case. Santana si Benji Baraz, nakalusog na naman. Ito na naman ang pukol, di Rony Luxin kay Vince Hizon. Tatlong nakapula kalaban niya. Pangiwala kay Vince Hizon. Pero kakumpiyansado itong tao ito. At itong team dito ngayon. Oo. They are in the zone, ika nga. Confidence level very, very high for the RSJs. In control, in command. Go. Oh. In the driver seat. Ito na naman si Vince Eason. Pasa yung kay Patrimonio. Natapig ka rin sa likod. Ito. Noli Luxin. Off balance shot. Bontik pa. Ato Agustin. Alvin Patrimonio. Subaksak sa labi yun. First field goal, the Alvin Patrimonio. He also picked up a foul, so a possible three-point play for the captain. Six minutes and 27 seconds to win in the ball game. Uh, si Bal David, papasok muli para sa RSJ. Pinalitan si John Rodney Santos. Wala sila kanina point guard eh. Ito si Bal David. Uh, at yung mga fans ni Valdemir, hiyawang ka. Oo. Tilian. Actually, ito si Vince Season. Ginagamit din na point guard ni Coach uh, Robert Jaworski. Uh, yun nga lang, if he's uh, used as point guard, it takes away some of the offense that he normally would produce as an off guard. But now he's more comfortable playing the off guard position. Natala sa rey evangelista, pumukol ka lang sa labas. Wala. One of the rare ill-advised shots of the other is Chase, ha? Wala. Eh, sabi ni Rey, ako naman, titira naman ako. Puro na lang kayo, eh. Benji Paras with a hook shot. Nice hook shot over EJ File. But mahirap gawin yun, considering that you're being guarded by a seven-footer. Vince, he's on. Down low to EJ File. Not up to Benji Paras. He's on, gets it back, and a foul is going to be called on Ato Agustin. Second person on Ato. At meron po tayo. Time out at tinawag ni Coach Jaworski. When you practice, the bay you thirst, Sprite. And Milo Aquino continuing to puncture the hoop. Now four of the five players on the floor here for Norman Black played for the Philippine team at the 1994 Hiroshima Asian Games under Coach Norman Black. So they should have some familiarity. 
How about that? Good head of the net as banks it off the glass. Mga hindi kinaw to three-point shot kanina ni Ato Agustin. Ay parang gano'n doon. 20 pa rin lamang. Anyway, may naman nagre-reklamo rito. Hindi ko naiintindihan. Ayun, tama. O, pinalitan na. Pinalitan na. 118 to 101 ang ating score. Bonnie locks in. Got the flag. Scoring at will. Ah, itong RSJs. And they're defying whatever defense the veterans are showing. So, Batala, si Vergel Meneses, playing cat and mouse with the defense. Johnny Abarrientos, off to Agustin. He's got the hot hand. Yes, they're looking for Agustin right now. 120 to 103. Out of this, Bal David, Virgay, Kere, Evangelista. Bal David. Dolly locks in, sob. Laba ke patrimonio. Maganda ang movement ng RSJs, ha? Oh. No one's standing around when the ball is in the hands of the point guard. You see cutters continuously moving and towards the hoop. Kaya kung mapigyan sila ng pasa, all the way to the hoop na. So Batala is only looks in. He's given two free throws. Bridging into double figures with that shot. Carriazo comes in for his own. So Batala is a patrimonio naman. Pinalitan ni Jerry Codinera. Two centers here for Coach Norman Black, Codinera and Benji Paras will be combining forces. Second shot by Noni Luxin is too strong. Benji Paras, you pass again. Nakapaligod si Ato Agustin. Ako ni Rey Evangelista. Pasa kay Marlo Aquino. Nakapit ko naman palabas si Benji. Tumatala si Edmund Reyes. Papasok para kay Noni Luxin. Good shuffling of men here by George Robert Jaworski. Good tank here, 20 to 10 pato. Good tank here. Evangelista. Edmund Reyes to Jeffrey Cariaso. Ito si Cariaso, maganda rin ang nilaro para sa RSG. Ganon din si Bal David. Performances here by players on Robert Jaworski's squad. Keeping the ball in the perimeter and then going to the low post. Back to the perimeter. Ito naman ang penetration. Nakawala na naman si Val David. Very simple play. Sa labas, sa loob. Kung wala sa loob, babalik sa labas. Penetration. Bainte na naman ang abante ng RSJ. Johnny Abarientos gets away. Pero, kinakapus na po sa oras ito mga veterano. 123 to 105. We have a timeout by the RSJ. Okay, Bal David from the outside misses. Two minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Dito po sa ating All-Star Game between the veterans and the RSJ. At napakalaking kalamangan po ng rookie sophomores and juniors. The coach Jaworski against the veterans of coach Norman Black. Ato Augustin missing and Ray Evangelista has been working hard off the boards. Jeffrey Cariasa, medyo masyado siya mabilis doon. Wala yung kanina. Wala sa his last two minutes. Dahil sinasabi mo kanina. Yes, I was just going to say that kanina, tinatanong natin sa ating sarili kung bakit si Bong Alvarez was not able to get his usual minutes. Well, we just got word here from the veterans camp that Bong Alvarez actually nursed a slight fever and thus never attended uh, practice Ayu. and he's still uh, actually not feeling too well uh, tonight but, uh, he still played a few oh, minutes just the same. Oh. all right here sambo ito ikaw nga eh patapos dito at uh, klaro klaro po na Nagwagi na rito ang RSJ. Well, very clearly, the RSJ is playing with a uh, lot more cohesion. Huh? Mas may coordination oh. ang kanilang uh, plays. So, but that a bad pass by Jeffrey Cariaso was picked up by Jerry Cadillera. Pero masama rin ang pass at iskabila ni Johnny Abarientos. Romel Santos will come in for Bal David dito po sa panig ng mga RSJ. As we expected, Ed, uh, we didn't see 
too many defensive gems wow. in this game, but we certainly saw a lot of offensive highlight clips. Well, as far as highlights are concerned, kini to hindi tayo makukulang jan sa pagkata. Sabi mo nga, dalawang sunod na weekend itong handog para sa mga PBA fans. As you look at Coach Norman Black, ay talaga po namang nasiyahan ang mga sumusubaybay ng PBA. That pass by Edward Reyes, picked up by Samboy Lim. Samboy, sumusugod. Hinarangan ni Jeffrey Cariaso at tatawagan po ng bao si Cariaso. Ganun pa man, 15 puntos ang abante ng RSJ at 125 to 110. This will be the first time that a team composed of rookies, sophomores, and juniors will win over a veteran squad in an all-star game. Yes, well, we did say it was a case of pride versus hunger. It looks like the hungrier team. Hindi yata pinakain ni Coach Tewalski muna, kaya halos gutom mo sila. Oo, talagang gutom na gutom itong mga RSJs out to prove their worth that they belong in the league with these veterans. Half a minute to go before we call it an all-star game. Ray Evangelista, nalabas ni Ramel Santos. Edmund Reyes, titikada galing sa labas. Wala. Well, not to make any excuses no, for the veterans, but uh, they did also labor with handicaps. Bong Alvarez, for instance, uh, we just found out, was nursing a fever. Tapos si Bong Hawkins was not able to play after suffering that uh, knee bump. Oh, the kabunggol sila din na sa nasa ito. Mano Aquino, oh, three-point shot! Sabi ni Mano, sinubukan ko lang naman eh. Aga po si Edmund Reyes. Kasi si Mano nakatira na ng three-point shot in a regular game. Sabi ni Edmund Reyes. Yes. Ano, ikaw ba? When you're on a roll, you really are on a roll and the RSJs certainly deserve to win that game without any doubt. Ika nga, Lady Luck was with them. Ito dito sa puntong ito, ika nga, tapos na yun eh. Pero nakakita mo sila ng mga pagkakatao. Si Mano eh, sabi niya, wala naman mo wala na sa amin. Tira na ako ng three-point shot. Ito naman si Edmund Reyes, nakakita ng pagkakataong umagaw. Tapos doon sa nakita niya, doon sa tira ni Malo, sabi niya, subukan ko rin kaya. Ayun, pumasok naman. So the score at the end of the All-Star Game, 131 for the RSJ and 115 para naman sa veterans. Let's go over to Vince St. Price. Okay, now we're getting ready to award the winning team the trophy for the 1996 All-Star Game. I'd like to call on Commissioner June Bernardino to award the trophy. The RSJ team, will you please come to half court to receive the winning trophy for the 1996 All-Star Game. A round of applause for the rookie sophomores and juniors. Coached by Sonny Jaworski. And the MVP for the 1996 All-Star Game to award the trophy to Mr. June Bernardino. The 1996 All-Star Game MVP is Kenneth Duremdes. Congratulations, Kenneth Duremdes. Your schedule.